Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I am Ace 10, and I'm once again joined by Decoy. Hello everybody. Alright, and we are back in uh, near the Dueling Peaks stable. Uh, so we made our way through the Dueling Peaks right through here, picked up a few spirit orbs along the way, talked to Beetle, uh, talked to a few other people, and um, we're going to try our hand at getting a horse. Um, it looks like there's some horses kind of out in the distance here, so we are going to... Uh, try our luck and see if we can sneak up on them um so let's go for it yeah so the guy at the uh, stable mentioned about um you know crouching down and sneaking up and seeing let's uh, try to do this sneaking um, up from behind too which yeah, is interesting because in real life i don't think you should do that <laughs> no unless you want your ass kicked uh <laughs> so um it's gonna be a little a little bit tricky because it looks like there's like one horse kind of standing guard but i don't know yeah he's watching oh okay all right yeah this dark looking horse looks really oh, oh they saw you they did yeah, I don't... oh and there's bats there too they're probably not very happy about that okay well, they kind of... It looks like they spooked each other and... Oh my gosh, now you guys are gonna... Definitely, uh... Go at away. nighttime, there's always <laughs> things to do, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay, where'd those horses go? Oh, are they, they're right there, they're aren't they? Way, way far away. Okay. Alright. Well, there were four horses all grouped together. Now there's only three, but... Okay. It looks like we're in a good position here. As long as they don't turn around... Um, we might be able to sneak up on them and... Oh, that one might see you. Oh, no, he didn't. It's acting like a dog, just like doing a bunch of circles around. <laughs> what is going on? Are you looking for a place to sleep or something? Is that what's happening? Okay, I seem to... Oh, let's see if we can jump on one of them. Oh, ouch. That didn't work very well, did it? Okay, let's get up. Let's try something else. <laughs> Let's actually uh, hop up to the top of this and see if we can glide down and land on him. Different tactic. Yeah, that might work too. Let's see. Okay, so they're right over there, huh? Okay, let's give that a shot. Okay. <laughs> Alright, and we want to mash the L button to soothe and... Before we run out of stamina, let's uh, eat another meal. Perfect. And once you see those little pink sparkles, then you've uh, tamed the horse. All right. Well, kinda. A yeah. little bit. Right. We've started the taming. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Remember uh, that guy at the stable? Yeah. He said uh, it may take multiple times to do this. That's right. So we want to gently guide the horse in the direction we want to go and soothe it with the L button. Eventually, they will trust us. But, uh, oh, this, oh, he's a pretty good horse. This horse is awesome. Okay, so uh, once we get him up to a pretty good gallop, um, you can see how many spurs he has. Now, that's kind of how fast he can go to a certain extent. That's how many times you can um, get him to go a fast speed. So let's go ahead and register this one. Um, and we're going to have to come up with a name. Oh, I'm trying to think of a name to come up with him. Hey. You know me and naming my horses. Hey. Eh? <laughs> All right, welcome to our stable. If you've come to register a wild horse, yes, we have. <laughs> uh, so let's uh, register. And yeah, we need a name. So let's see. Uh, you can notice he's only 25% bonded, so there's still some bonding that needs to happen here. That's right. But well, they start at zero, so we've <laughs> we've done, done a, good. a good amount of bonding so far. So yes, we're going to register this new horse, and what are we going to name it? Let's see. So yeah, we'll pay the 20 rupee registration oh. fee. And now we need a name, so let's see. What are we going to do? Well, I always go with Disney character names, but that, that's what I always do. But Okay. Uh, you tend to lean towards weird, like, uh, stripper colors. names and Stripper colors. names? Well, the last horse you named was Amber. <laughs> that sounded like because, such a stripper name. No, because you pick up, like, Amber and Opal and oh, Sapphire. But, th I mean, I, I see where you're coming yeah. from with that. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, um, these, this is always one I struggle with. Cause we could do a Disney name. We could do a Disney name, but... From I, what, from what, um, from what movie? Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, let's just do Wally. Wally? Yeah. Okay. 
I guess that'll make sense. Was it all caps? Uh, was it I like... believe it was all caps, yeah. All right, well, I guess we'll I do that. I don't think it's going to matter in this, but yeah, we can do Wall Lee. And... All right. Okay, where's the dash? And I think it was it dash is. or space, yeah. yeah. And then... It stood for something too, didn't it? It did, and I don't remember. I just love the, the... it. Waste, waste allocation. I forget what the yeah, L's are, something. and then Earth. Yes. E was for Earth. All right. Cool. It makes me want to watch it again. Oh, oh yes, it's a great movie. Wally, -E. perfect. All right. Your registration is complete, and yes, we want to take our new horse with us. So, um, if you get separated from your horse, you can whistle it, and it will come running. So all we have to do is hit down on the D-pad, and that will uh, be all we need to do to. Uh, call our horse uh but it can't hear you if you're too far away so keep that in mind um but so uh this is one stable one of many stables because we did see what looked like a stable out in um out west from where we are so uh we can uh we can always travel to any stable we want and pick up our horse no matter where our horse is so that's very very convenient that is nice a little more bonding going on there that's right Okay, so um, I think the next thing we need to do is uh, let's head towards Kakariko Village and see if we can find Impa. And hopefully we can um, increase our horse's bond on the way. I can't remember if you feed them an apple if they, uh, that helps with the bonding or not. It actually does, and we can uh, give that a shot. We I know in real to... life, man, they love apples and carrots. They That's get right. all happy about that. Yep, so let's go ahead and hold an apple. Uh, we can hold an apple right in front of them, and yep, they will just come down and eat it. And those, uh, those sparkles mean that we actually did increase our bond, so yeah, that'll definitely work. That can be a faster method uh, if you don't want to uh, ride with them and just be hitting the L button the whole time. Because it takes multiple times hitting that L button to make that uh, the bonding happen. That's right. Just that one little sparkle of pink bondage. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> so it looks like Kakariko Village is to the left, Hateno Village is to the right. Um, Kakariko is where we need to go, so let's head to the left here. Um, looks like we gotta cross this bridge. bridge. Yeah. A bridge over troubled water, perhaps? <laughs> Kakariko Bridge, okay. Uh, definitely looks like we're going the right way, doesn't it? it oh, if it says we're going, yeah. Okay, I think so. Um, oh, there's a... interesting looking rock up here. What's this all about? Couple of rocks. Yeah. Um, is there something we need to throw down here, maybe? I see an octa rock. Yeah. Okay. Not sure why there's those are rocks up there, but um, oh, oh here there's we go. one. All right, yeah. So this looks exactly like one of those um, little circle. Oh, like the rollers. one we saw right off the Great Plateau there. Yeah. Yeah. These are a little challenging to get. Actually, this is, looks like a bad. Uh, let's see. Can we get up here? I wonder. Yep. Okay. Let's try this a few times. But yeah, this can be a little bit aggravating to get right. See if we can throw it from here. I don't know if that'll work. Okay, whatever. <laughs> if um if you come across a little Korok puzzle then and you don't want to deal with it at the moment, you can open up your map and actually pin it. Uh, what I like to do is pin a little leaf icon. So that way, you know, you can make a note to yourself and say, oh, there's a Korok over here that, you know, I was struggling with because it was annoying me and I don't want to deal with it right now. But you can make a note of it to come back to it later. Yeah, it is nice because sometimes you're, you know, you get so distracted by doing things that you forget what, what you were actually after. That's right. <laughs> Calm down, horsey. All right. All right, so let's continue following the road. Hopefully it's not too much further to Kakarika Village. <laughs> Odd tree. Yeah, I see that too, and uh, here's a person. I love the morning light. Uh, let's talk to him. I wonder if he has anything, uh, anything to say about maybe Kakarika Village. Ooh. Climbing cliffs is a challenge on a rainy day, even for an old hand like me. Best to just wait out the rain on those days. I'm selling a few things I picked up in my travels. Doesn't cost a look. All right. Oh. Yeah, let's do some window shopping. Why not? All right. Doesn't, let's see. Electro Rhino Beetle. Hmm. Okay. Oh, bright-eyed crabs, too. All okay. right. This is awesome, but uh, he's charging actually a lot of money, so yeah, he is. we'll pass. Need anything else? Uh, nope. If you want to sell to them, you can as well. And uh, he'll pay as much as Beetle does or any of the other merchants out and about. Um, but yeah, this is an interesting looking... Oh, it looks like broccoli almost. It does kind of look like a broccoli stalk, but he's 
Oh, it looks like it's an actual person. Good. Shalaka. All right. <gasps> Shalaka! You you can see me? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, we can see you. <laughs> Shalaza, Shalaka! It's been a hundred years since anyone has been able to see me. I'm Hestu, and I need your help. Oh, this is the guy that this one of the Koroks was talking yep, about, the huh? the first Korok we got mentioned okay. him. Those monsters over there stole my beloved maracas. Okay. I think they're still on the other side of those rocks. I can't use my powers without them, Shoko. So please, please get my maracas back from them. Okay, and we have another our... side quest. Yeah. This would be our first side quest, but uh, yeah. yeah. All those armor pieces from the DLC happened to pop up at the same time. Um Okay, so yeah, he mentioned about there being monsters on the other side of these rocks, huh? Oh, oh. there's one. Yeah, looks like we can see two. Oh, wow. And they're blue. Oh, they saw you. And they yep, they did see me. Uh let's see if we can um blast them back. <laughs> Well, that kind of worked. <laughs> that worked pretty good. Yeah. I don't think we're going to use our boomerang. Uh, let's use this sword. Okay, let's see if we can make quick work of these guys. <laughs> good. Oh, gosh. Alright, get ready for the, uh... There it is. One of my favorite sounds the in this game. The most beautiful sound in the game, I think. <laughs> all right, that uh, did not. That didn't go too badly. No, I'm pretty that went relatively easy. Oh, and all the parts are just falling down the hill. Whatever. All right, let's see what's in that treasure chest. Um, I remember doing this the first time. I was so cautious. I went up there and just chucked bombs at him. From you the know box. what? I did that as well. Um, <laughs> You don't have to go um, head to head with these guys by any means. Um, yeah, the first time I uh, came across them, I actually did just kind of throw a bomb out there and beat them up. Oh, and knock over a tree too. Hopefully, Hesse you didn't see that. Uh, <laughs> us uh, deforesting the entire uh, kingdom of Hyrule. All right, let's uh, check out what's in this treasure chest, and we get Hester's maracas. He's been shaking them since he was two years old. Should mention that you can't open these chests unless you defeat the the creatures around it. That's right. Uh, you'll notice the eyes. Well, right now the eyes aren't glowing at all because we opened it. But before if, that, they were yellow. And before uh, we beat the creatures, I think they're purple. Purple, yeah. So if they're a purple color, you there are still enemies that you need to uh, get rid of before you're able to uh, get whatever's inside. But uh, luckily, I thought so I'd outsmart curious. the game and try that, but it doesn't work. The game knows. Yep. All right. So let's uh, give his uh, maracas back. Shalakala, those are those are my maracas. Please give them to me. Here you go. Shalaka! But wait, there's something wrong with my maracas. The Korok seeds inside are gone. How am I supposed to dance now, Shoko? If I had just one Korok seed, I could sing, dance, and use my powers to help you. You see, I have the power of inventory expansion. So let me know if you find some Korok seeds. Actually, yeah, we have, what, I don't know, 12 yeah, of them? Yeah, we'll get so quite far? a few of them. Oh, we do have 12. Cool. The children of the forest must have taken the Korok seeds from my beloved maracas. I never thought I'd be the target of one of their pranks. So cool. But wait. <laughs> do you have a Korok seed? You do! You got a Korok seed from one of the forest children. If you give me just one Korok seed, I'll make your inventory bigger in return. That sounds pretty awesome, and it actually, does. yeah, we're, I think all of our slots are full, so let's do it. Shalaka! So which stash do you want more slots in? We're gonna go for weapons, I because weapons, yeah. <laughs> we go through weapons like crazy, and we'll, we, we're gonna be coming across a lot of other weapons that we'll want to pick up and keep with us, so we're gonna mostly focus on weapons from here. Shaky Shaka! <laughs> And just like that, we have a new weapon slot. Da na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> Your weapon stash has been expanded, Shalaka. 
I still smell Korok seeds on you. Yeah, they must be stink pretty bad. They must have, everything seems to indicate that they smell <laughs> kind of distinctly. Yeah. <laughs> Want me to expand your inventory again? Yes, please. Let's do it. Okay, I just need two Korok seeds. Deal? All right, so it looks like it's getting a little bit more expensive, but sure, it's worth it. Oh, yeah, shaky shaka. <laughs> <laughs> that just amuses me every time. Yes. <laughs> this dance is so nice. Your weapon stash has been expended, Shalaka. Oh, look at the time. I need to get back before Grandpa yells at me, Shoko. Grandpa? Right? Who's Grandpa? Sorry, I have to go, but I still need Korok seeds, so bring some to Korok Forest if you find any. Hmm. All right. Well... Uh, looks like we won't be able to get any more inventory expansions from him at this point, so, uh, let's see if we can keep heading up to Kakariki Village. Uh, let's whistle to our horse and see if, uh... Alright, cool. Is our horse a he or a she? Wally? Um, I don't know. I, I guess we'd have to look under the carriage to find out, but we can say it one way or the other. I don't think this game is gonna be that detailed. I don't think so either. <laughs> At least, I certainly hope not. No. What should we go with, though? Uh, let's go with, uh, let's go with a boy. A boy it's, horse? It's got a Wally name. Wally was a boy in the movie, so. I think so. Yeah. Is that rain? Yeah, it looks like it's rain. Um, it kind of does. The weather doesn't indicate rain, but yeah, it's definitely raining. Oh, yeah. that, that can happen sometimes. It might be a little bit of a light sprinkle. All right. Okay, looks uh looks like there's another one of these little puzzles oh, yeah, here to uh, one right there. All right, so this one looks pretty simple. We just gotta make two squares. So, all right, and just like that, we have our next Korok seed. It makes up for the uh, four that we uh, th three that we spent with uh, the Yeah, we spent three, and it looks like further upgrades are gonna get more expensive. So I think pretty soon we're gonna need to be collecting a lot of these. And there's some frogs over there I want to grab. Yes. All right. All right, and it looks like we're getting pretty close to uh, Kakarika Village. It's just kind of up this way and around the bend. Let's get going. See what there is to await us. Boy, there's a lot of goats in this valley. There are. Okay. And here we have arrived to Kakariko Village. <laughs> Alright, we will uh, just kind of leave the horse behind and um, go from here. Oh, what's wrong? Uh... Traveler, I'm sorry, but I seem to have twisted my ankle. Ow! Yeah. That, that feels like that would hurt. Hmm, let's see here. I'm sorry you had to see me like that. Say, traveler. Where did you get that object hanging from your waist? Well, you see, I woke up in this shrine and I was just taking a bath the for the tub. past hundred yeah. years. Yeah. Um, and it was just there. Oh. Yes, I see. That Shuka Slate is a symbol. It means you are the hero of legend. She knows what it is. Hmm. Interesting. Though there are few who know of such legends anymore. But we Shika have been waiting for you for a very long time. Oh, so it seems like the Shika are here. Okay. Okay. Please, before all else, I must insist that you meet with our leader, Lady Impa. Okay. Where is she? Lady Impa's house is below Lantern Falls, just over there. In any case, it was a real honor to meet you. <laughs> I suppose you're used to that, having lived as long as you have. <laughs> Just how old are we? Uh, right? Well, I guess if we were sleeping for the past hundred years, we must be... We're at least a hundred and something. Yeah, we certainly don't look it, though. Okay, well, uh, I guess the first thing we should do is head to that large house out by those waterfalls and uh, see if we can talk to Impa. This is really nice. This is like the first village we've come across, huh? Yeah, I don't think we've... Everything else has been ruins. That's right. Desolate for us sparkling things over there. Yeah. 
You there, who are you? How dare you trespass upon Lady Impa's abode? Hmm? Is that a Chica Slate? But that would mean you are... No, it's not possible. Can it be? Yeah, that's us, I guess. Please forgive us for behaving so rudely. Of course we have heard the legends from Lady Impa herself. Please, friend, go ahead and step inside. And yeah, move aside, guys. I know you're protecting her and everything, but we got some uh, business to, to tend to. <gasps> a man! <laughs> huh? Is that? It's a Sheikah Slate! Could you be the hero my grandmother told me about? What was his name? Li Lin? Um. Oh, it's not that I forgot. I'm just bad with speaking. As for me, my name is Pa Pa Pai. Oh, my name is Paya. Oh, I got it out. I know I should be able to say that easily, seeing it's how it's my own name and all. I'm so sorry. Anyway, my grandmother's been waiting your return ever since I was little. B please hurry inside. Okay. Okay, Paya. Oh, she looks so embarrassed to see she us. She does, doesn't she? Oh, she's just she's not used to there being just a nice-looking man in her life, is there? Especially wearing that red uh, Nintendo t-shirt. That's right. This looks so... <laughs> we're gonna have to, like, change out of this shirt eventually, because it's, it's so, like, fourth wall breaking, but... Right? Let's head inside. So, you're finally awake. It has been quite a long time, Link. I am much older now. But you remember me, don't you? I can't say that we do. Mm -mm. Hmm. Oh, what is the matter? You are looking at me as though I am a stranger to you. Those eyes, they lack the light of familiarity. It is I, courageous one, Impa. Surely you must at least remember the name Impa. As we stare blankly at her. <laughs> I see, so you have lost your memory. Oh. Well, it matters not. In fact, they that may be a bleh, bleh, let me start that over. <laughs> <laughs> that may actually be a blessing in disguise for the time being. Dearest Link, please come a bit closer. Oh. A hundred years ago. Oh. Yes, a hundred years ago, the kingdom of Hyrule was destroyed. After you fell, Princess Zelda's final wish was to place you in a sacred slumber. And then, all alone, alone she went to face Ganon. Before Princess Zelda went to nobly meet her fate, she entrusted me with some words she wished to say to you. I have been waiting 100 years to deliver the princess's message. However, these words which the princess risked her life to leave you, well, if you are to hear them, you must be prepared to risk your life as well. But I am afraid that burden may be too much to bear while you are still without your memories. I leave the choice to you. When you feel you are ready to receive the princess's message, return to me. I don't know. I feel that we're ready, right? Yeah, I think we're, yeah. I want to know what's happening. What, what words does Zelda have for us? I don't know what kind of option that was, mm. but... The words that the princess risked her life to impart to you... I cannot pass them on to someone who lacks conviction. Are you prepared to risk your life for the greater good? I mean, we've pretty much been doing that ever since we woke up from the Shrine of Resurrection. So yeah. Sure. Ha ha ha. Not a memory to your name, yet you are as intent as ever to charge forward with only courage and justice on your side. You have not changed a bit. Once a hero, always a hero. Yeah. Very well. Since you have lost your memory, I will recount for you all that has happened. The history of the royal family of Hyrule is also the history of Calamity Ganon, a primal evil that has endured over the ages. This evil has been turned back time and time again by a warrior wielding the soul of a hero and a princess who carries the blood of the goddess. With the passage of time, 
each conflict with Ganon faded into legend. So listen closely as I tell you of this legend that occurred 10,000 years ago. Hyrule was then blossoming as a highly advanced civilization. Even the most powerful monsters posed little threat to the denizens of the realm. The people thought it wise to utilize their technological prowess to ensure the safety of the land should Calamity Ganon ever return. They constructed four mechanical wonders that came to be known as the Divine Beasts. They also built a legion of autonomous weapons called Guardians. The Divine Beasts were piloted by four individuals of exceptional skill from across the land. And thus, the plan to neutralize Ganon was forged. Upon Ganon's inevitable return to Hyrule, the princess and the hero fought alongside these four champions against this ancient evil. The Guardians were tasked with protecting the hero as the Divine Beasts unleashed a furious attack upon their terrible foe. And when the hero wielding the sword that seals the darkness delivered his final blow, the princess used her sacred power to seal away Calamity Ganon. A hundred years ago, in preparation for the foretold revival of Ganon, we strove to follow the lead of our ancestors of 10,000 years prior. Gosh, that's such a long time ago. Such a huge time yeah. difference between these. Mm. But in the end, despite our best efforts and careful planning, we underestimated his power. In order to avoid ever making that grave mistake again, the princess left you these words. Free the four divine beasts. That is what she said. Four divine beasts? Okay. The four divine beasts are the ancient Chica weapons wielded by the four champions who Ganon defeated. The divine beast Va Rudania, controlled by Daruk of the Gorons. The divine beast Va Medo, controlled by Rivali of the Rito. The divine beast Va Ruta, controlled by Mifa of the Zora. And the divine beast Va Naboris, controlled by Orbosa of the Gerudo. It would be extremely ill-advised to face Ganon without the power of the Divine Beasts to help you. You must infiltrate the Divine Beasts that were stolen away by Ganon 100 years ago and bring them back to our side. More information about these Divine Beasts can be found by locating the four races scattered across Hyrule. And she will conveniently mark on our map where we need to go. The Sheikah Slate will guide you on your way. You must go where it tells you and meet with the leader, each leader there. And there's our new main quests, Free the Divine Beasts. It seems to me that your Sheikah Slate is not yet complete. Uh oh. Is that right? Really? The device Princess Zelda left you is your guide and also your memory. Mm. Now, let's see. Someone at the research lab in Hateno Village might be able to help you. Oh, we heard of a tenor village before yeah, we did. There here, was didn't that we? sign on the, uh, yeah. the fork in the road. Okay. The location shining on the eastern edge is Hateno Village. It is a small village, one of the very few places that avoided suffering significant damage during the Great Calamity. 
And another main quest, Locked Mementos. You are Princess Zelda's only hope, and Hyrule's as well. You cannot turn back now. Follow your heart and seize your destiny. Yes, ma'am. Well, okay. we got one uh, quest complete just to get another one. That's right. Well, two, really. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Locked mementos and um, free the four divine beasts. That that free the four divine beasts. That seems like that's gonna take a long time, that's doesn't a it? Task and a half. It sounds like. Yeah. But just check out her place. This is great, isn't it? The detail again is just amazing. That's right. You got little frogs up on the wall. Oh yeah. That's cute. Oh, I did notice the. Uh... She's got an orb over there. It does. Let's, let's let's see if we can grab that. Looks like one of the orbs that's in the shrines, right? Excuse us, Impa. Or Paya. <laughs> that Sheikah heirloom has been guarded by our tribe for generations. I must request that you not touch it. Hmm. Even for an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be respected. All right. Okay, they well, don't want to talk about it. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay. <laughs> oh, and this looks like some interesting artwork here. Hmm. Let's see if we can see that. Oh, wow. Looks like some guardian-looking things. I don't know. There's look... at least two or three guardians in there, it looks like. Yeah. I don't know. This it, this looks kind of familiar, because I think we've seen a couple of guardians, just, like, big collections of them when we've been out and about traveling, but it's interesting that they would have a picture of that inside here, right? That is, yeah, very intriguing. There's sometimes the, de the devil's in the details in this. Yeah. Maybe we'll figure out what that's all about in a second. Um, if we check out over here, um, looks like there's just a bunch of apples here and these bowl, offering looking bowls things. Let's see if we, uh, place an apple in the one that's missing if something happens. Let's see, just walk right up to it, drop the apple in there. Oh, Korok. Turns out it's a Korok. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, so you'll see these out and about. Uh, usually it's apples, but some of them are a little bit different. But yep, as long as you put um, whatever fruit is nearby in these, then uh, you'll be rewarded with a Korok seed. Pretty awesome, huh? All right, let's check over here. Um, whoa, what is that guy doing? <laughs> Jeez. No man. kidding. Hmm, are you... Sorry to bother you, but are you a fellow traveler? As for me, I just love art. In fact, I'm traveling the world in search of beautiful landscapes. Mm. Just between you and me, I hear there's a great fairy fountain somewhere near this village. I hear it's breathtakingly beautiful. Aesthetics aside, they also say the place can bestow some kind of mysterious power on people. Uh... However, since I'm an outsider, I can't get anyone to tell me any more details than that. These villagers never leave the safety of their village, so travelers like me are treated with suspicion. Ah. Oh, I'll hand you my Sheikah Slate. Maybe they'll tell you where it is. Later. Right. <laughs> but I won't give up. Oh, and if I manage to find out anything, I'll be sure to let you know. Cool. All right. So, um, oh, look back here. Oh, oh there's a goddess. A goddess statue. Okay. Let's see what happens if we pray. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs, I can offer you great power. But you do not yet have four spirit orbs. Oh, that's right. We need one more at yeah. least. Seek out the shrines scattered across Hyrule and face more challenges. Once you have claimed four spirit orbs, return to me. So it looks like you don't have to do the go up to the Temple of Time. You can do it here. That's right. So yeah, luckily we won't have to fast travel all the way back to the Great Plateau. We can just head to uh, Akrika Village. And it's hard to see, but there is actually a shrine right up there. That's going to be our next destination. So let's head up there. Maybe pick an iron shroom out along the way. I saw it hiding behind this trunk. There we go. Okay. All right, how are we going to get up here? Looks like there's a way up here this way. Yep, so um, every village will tend to have a, uh, a shrine inside of it. So that can be useful to grab. All right, and here we are at the Talonig Shrine. Let's head on inside and see what's in there. All right, and this is Talonig's teaching. Hmm, I wonder what this is all about. Um, so I'm actually going to drop some a weapon and a shield because we are going to be picking. Oh, we don't need to drop a weapon because we have some empty slots. Perfect. All right. So these treasure chests are going to have, uh, one of them's going to have a weapon, and one's going to have a shield. This one's got the weapon, an eight-fold blade. 
Single-edged sword, traditional to the Sheikah tribe, forged using ancient technology, and just may be among the sharpest conventional weapons ever made. Um, that might be our strongest one-handed weapon so far, just slightly. Um, but we're gonna leave that one. We're gonna, uh, just leave our soldier's broadsword equipped. And here we have the... Shield of the Mind's Eye, a small Sheikah-made shield. Its design is intended to decrease blind spots without sacrificing too much defense. Cool, and it looks pretty awesome too, doesn't it? That's an awesome looking shield. I it's one like of my it. favorite looking ones. Yep. But yeah, we'll just, we'll put another like weaker shield because oh, we want to hold on to these because they're kind of nice. And look at what we have here. We've seen these things before, haven't we? Yeah, th these are pretty common in the shrines now, it seems. Yep. Use the side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to attack them. I don't know, I didn't read that fast enough, but... Uh, so this is actually going to teach us how to do those perfect dodges and perfect guards that I've kind of shown off a little bit in these episodes so far. Uh, this one's going to teach us how to side hop. So um, what you'll want to do is push your ZL button to center uh, the uh, target in front of you. And that'll, you'll also hold out your shield. And the way to side hop is you move the stick either to the left or the right, and then just jump. So I found it easier to move the stick first and then jump. If you try to do both at the same time, sometimes it doesn't quite work out. So just move the stick over and jump, and that's all you need to do. And you'll want to do this whenever an enemy is trying to attack at you from the front. So he's going to swing his sword in front of us, and we'll want to hop to the side just like that. Sometimes it doesn't work out the first few times. It takes some practice to get the timing down, but there eventually, that's all you got to do. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. So this is the exact same thing as the side hop, except you'll want to pull the stick back instead of to the side. So you'll want to do this when an enemy is swinging from side to side, just like that. If an enemy is attacking side to side, just pull back on the stick and jump, and you will jump right out of the way. The last thing he's going to teach us is uh, repelling an attack and doing a perfect guard. So if we parry with our shield at the right time, that'll uh, give us a little opening to attack. So once again, hold your ZL button out, push A right when they attack. And they're gone. And we actually haven't shown this off yet, but we can uh, build up our power by holding the Y button. And then once we release, we will... Uh, we will kind of spin our sword like that. It breaks upon impact, but that's not a problem. And he's done. And he's gone. Looks like he dropped his sword, too. Yeah, it does. You have done well to learn these crucial skills. Now, proceed. Alright, yeah, let's grab his weapon. What was he uh, using? I don't think we've seen that one yet. This is a guardian sword, a sword often wielded by guardian scouts. Its blue energy blade is a product of ancient technology. It's not very durable, but it looks pretty awesome. It does. I like these weapons just because they look cool. But, but yeah, as mentioned, they will kind of break quickly. All right, looks like he dropped a spring and a screw, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, looks like we had a treasure chest right before um, talking to the monk, so let's see what's in this chest. Another right. opal. I got an opal, which we'll probably just sell for rupees. <laughs> that's not too bad. All right. So we learned how to do perfect dodges and perfect guards. Pretty awesome. Your triumph over this test of strength subverts a prophecy of ruin. From the ashes of Hyrule, a hero rises. In the name of the goddess Hylia, I bestow upon you this spirit orb. Now we have four. Yep, that's our fourth one. Well, eighth one, but yes, now we have four now. And we're going to grab ourselves another heart. Yes, we are. Uh-huh. But before we grab our uh, second heart container, let's uh, let's head back uh, further up this hill. <coughs> Excuse me. And yeah, Pekanga was talking about um. Oh, what's this bluish-looking rabbit? <laughs> we'll we're, we're figure out eventually what that's all about. But, but yeah, Pekanga was talking about looking for a um great fairy fountain and it turns out it's actually right behind the shrine that we were just in 
And there are fairies around the fairy fountain too. These are incredibly useful to have. If we have them in our pouch, um, if we die, if we completely run out of hearts, they will come to our aid and uh, refill our hearts. Yeah, you want to collect these any and every time you see them. That's right. Uh, it's always helpful to have these um, anywhere you go. Uh, I think there were four total. Yeah, here's the fourth one. Way out here. Um, and yes, you'll want to sneak up to them in order to get them. So let's see if we can kind of climb up this rock. Perfect. Okay. Cool, yes, you'll want to crouch down by pushing um, down on your left stick. You can jump um, as you're crouched down, and you won't scare them away by doing that. Um, so that can be helpful to kind of um, get close to them and um, and grab them. But yep, now we have four uh, fairies. The most I've ever been able to hold is six at a time. So. I think, yeah, I think that's the max. Yeah. All right, so let's, uh, let's see what this is all about. Boy... Sweet boy, please listen to my story. Okay. Hmm. I am the great fairy Cotera. This place was once a beautiful spring. It's not bad looking now. No. But as time passed, fewer and fewer travelers arrived to offer me rupees. And as a result, my power has abandoned me. I'm nearly powerless now, so I beg your help. I need rupees to become whole again. Oh. All I need is 100 rupees. Once my power has been restored, I can help you do great things, boy. Now, if you have rupees, hand them over to me, quickly! In order for me to regain my power, I need 100 rupees. Okay, we can spare 100 rupees. Here you go. Wow. <laughs> well, grabby. <laughs> Thank you, you are too kind. Ah, the power! It's overflowing! <laughs> mm. Oh, what a feeling! That first breath of fresh air after an eternity of decay. It's just so intoxicating. Thanks to you, I've been returned to my former glory. And as they say, one good turn deserves another. I can help you, boy. Allow me to enhance your clothing. It's the least I can do, but I will need the necessary materials. Ah. With the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little bit. Okay, let's see what you can do, huh? Alright, so um, the Great Fairy can actually help upgrade our armor. Um, can help it, uh, it can help make the armor a little bit more defensive, so that's awesome to hear. Mm. Let's go ahead and enhance what we can right now. Ah. <sighs> Whew, and just like that, our pants, our, our trousers are a little bit more powerful. Pretty awesome, huh? That is good. Cool. All right, a great fairy has increased their defense by one level. So instead of uh, a defense of three, now we have a defense of five. Slightly better. Mom? A little more protection. Yep. All finished, just a bit stronger now. Oh, you've heard about set bonuses, right? How a set of clothes that have all been enhanced twice could have a bonus? But only if you wear the whole set. Well, and not all sets have a bonus. Do you want to enhance any of your other clothes? Sure, I think there was one more that we could enhance, the uh, climber's bandana. Bandana, yeah. Yep. Uh, we will uh, figure out what set bonuses are mm. a little bit later in the series. So, I think I can enhance the climber's bandana. Sure, let's go for ah. it. Let me do my thing. <sighs> All right, so unfortunately this won't help us increase our climbing speed any more than it already is, but it will give us a little bit more defense. So that's good to know. I thought I would improve some other clothes for you, but it looks like that's not possible right now. Please come back here once you get some clothes and materials, or once you've restored the power of my sisters. Oh. See you later. Ah. So there's more. Okay, yeah, it turns out there might be some more uh, great fairies out and about in the world. But um, So uh, there's usually a lot of stuff around the great fairy fountains. Um, if you're having trouble seeing them, you can pull your stasis rune out. If you use it, they will actually glow. So you can um, very very quickly and easily see what you can pick up. Uh, these are Endura carrots. These are awesome. Um, what they will do is they will actually boost our stamina beyond its maximum limit. So when we cook these and eat them, um, it'll actually refill our stamina wheel the whole way. 
plus give us a little bit extra. And here is the Silent Princess. This lovely flower was said to have been a favorite of the Princess of Hyrule. Once feared to have gone extinct, it's recently been spotted growing in the wild. Hmm, very interesting there. Alright, yeah, so let's run around and grab a couple more materials here. It's always nice to have these on hand. Uh, we can always uh, cook them, or... Uh, some of these are even used for armor upgrades or enhancements. So, it can be worth it if you come across any kind of uh, materials to grab them. I think there was a few more things over here. Yep, it looks like uh, another blue nightshade and an iron trim. Alright, so we have four spirit orbs. We got our fourth one from getting that uh, Talu Neg Shrine. So let's go ahead and uh, head to the, the goddess statue and get our uh, new heart container. Alright, and what should we do next after that decoy? Well, um... I might want to head back to, uh... Head back to that bridge and see what we got going on. Explore this little area here a little bit. See what's around the village. That's right. Yeah, this village is actually uh, pretty large. Okay, let's go ahead and get our second uh, heart container. All right. All right. So now we're at five total hearts. Pretty awesome. There's quite a bit in this village. So. There, yeah, there are a lot of things to do in this village. There we go. Okay, go and bring peace to Hyrule. Certainly. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's start by going this direction. Yeah. New clothes, cute outfits. Whoa. Enchanted is open for business every day of the year. Oh my, look at that face. You are totally my type. Hi. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Oh, and you even have a Sheikah Slate on your hip! Wait, huh? A Sheikah Slate? Isn't that, like, an incredible thing that only incredible people can have? I'm not sure what this all means, mister, but it seems you're a great deal more important than you appear. Uh, are we now? Okay. I guess so. I mean, we've been called the Hero of Legend or something? Yeah, uh, Hero Legend. Yeah, yeah, right. Need some new clothes? Ah, uh, maybe. Welcome to Enchanted, my high-end boutique! We exclusively stock the special garments of the Clary Collection. In fact, that stealth chest guard over there is highly recommended. Oh, you must be talking about this stuff over here, huh? Cool. Oh, and we also buy anything you don't need, so just talk to me when you're ready. Okay, uh, let's ask about the Clary Collection. Aww. The Clary Collection, as in a high-end collection curated by me, Clary, but of course! <laughs> I've personally selected each and every item in here using my flawless fashion sense. <laughs> it's all highly recommended. Each item has its own unique features and abilities, so take a good look. Okay. Yeah, let's kind of see what this is all about, shall we? Hyping herself up pretty good. Mm -hmm. Isn't that lovely? It's a limited edition, enchanted exclusive. While you wear it, your footsteps are nearly soundless, so it's perfect for hunting and stuff. Oh, but it offers very little defense. Small price for the extra strength. Yeah, so um, this armor is all part of the Sheikah armor. Uh, stealth mask, stealth chest guard, and stealth tights. Now, they're all pretty expensive, but wearing them will actually increase our stealth and make us uh, better able to sneak around. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and it looks like we have a couple of other um, armor pieces here. Hylian hood, tunic, and trousers, which we already have. Yep. So, um, if you find the trousers on the Great Plateau, then you won't have to buy them here. You're already gonna have a set. Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, if we get some more rupees, it might be worth it to, uh, grab that armor. Grab some, yeah, grab some of that. Mm-hmm. Alright, let's head over to, uh, the other side here. There's our goddess statue there. Um, looks like, uh, this little moon, uh, moon sign here means that this is gonna be a lodge. an lodge. Yeah. Yeah, a lodge. And, um... The guy at the front desk is even sleeping, so uh, maybe we shouldn't wake him up. Beat on the desk. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, but if you need to recover your heart and you don't want to cook or eat your food, then you can, uh, of course, go there and uh, sleep in a bed. It'll cost you a few rupees, but uh, you'll be able to refill your health. Um, here, it looks like it's just a general store with some ingredients. Mm -hmm. Looks goat like we butter. got some yep, goat butter, bird eggs, some swift carrots. That'll increase our movement speed and... 
Oh, these nasty looking things that are <laughs> moving around are uh, Bokoblin Guts. We found a couple of those. Alright, so if you need those ingredients, there you go. You can buy them from there. Um, and here is probably the shop I frequent the most when I'm in this village. Um, uh, she actually sells arrows, much like Beetle. So um, let's go ahead and buy some arrows. Hopefully we can afford them all. Um, we might have to sell something to her in order to afford these. Yeah, because those are 20 rupees a piece. Actually, hey. we might be able to get them both. Yep, we will. Okay. Ma. Cool, we have only 20 rupees to our name, but we've got 65 arrows now, so pretty awesome. All right, and over here, she actually sells fire arrows as well. So if you have the rupees, uh, enough rupees to buy these, then it might be worth it. Especially if you need them, yeah. Oh, yeah. Come back here and fill up your inventory. That's right. Uh, well, we've kind of explored all that Kakariki Village has to offer for the most part. There are a couple of other, you know, um, houses in here, but they just um, have the regular village residents. You can talk to them, and some of them even, you know, have special things that they want you to do. But, um, yeah, for now, I think we're going to call it an episode. Um, in the next one, we're going to head over to Hateno Village. There's that um, missing rune that Impa said... Uh, you know, she said our Shika Slate wasn't quite complete, so maybe That's it right. would be a good idea to head over to Hitema Village. Um, See what we can do with that over there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it looks like it's in the next region that we haven't quite opened up yet, so there's going to be a tower along the way more than likely, and um, hopefully we won't um, encounter too many challenges on our way there, but I guess we'll have to see, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Um, stay tuned for the next episode to come in. Once again, I've been Ace-10 and been joined by Decoy. Right. And don't forget to have fun. That's right. Enjoy, guys. Have a good one, and see you the next one. Goodbye.